Sarah, do you know what the uh, meaning of the word density is? Not really. Well, uh, haven't you called somebody dense? Yeah. Oh, okay, what did, that, what did you have in mind when, when you called the person dense? Thick-headed? Okay. Density has something to do with thickness. You're, you're right. Uh, as a matter of fact, its uh, correct definition is mass per unit volume. But let us explain the idea, I think, more, more quickly by cutting that piece of potato in half. Okay. And then I'd like you to put them into one, one piece into each of those glasses of liquid. Okay. Well, here it goes into the sort of clear one. That's plain water. Okay, and the potato sinks, sinks, right? Yeah. Now here's sugar water. It flowed to the top. Okay, now can you tell just... which liquid is the most dense? Well, as a wild guess, I think it was this one. Why wild guess? Well... You, you, you don't know the idea of, 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 of buoyancy? Something floats based on, based on the idea that it displaces its equal volume and so forth. For our purposes yeah. now, just realize that the denser the liquid is, the more, something, more things will float on it. Okay? Okay. Because we're going to use the idea of the density of liquids to identify plastics. Okay? If you want to move those glasses out of the way, put them over there on the shelf. Okay. And I've collected a bunch of plastics that are sort of common. Uh, in fact, this cover that you were do cutting the potato on, you recognize that, don't you? Yeah. It's what just it? a lid. Hmm? Uh, it's just a lid that's flexible okay. and semi Okay, that's what I want you to do. Look at these common plastics and identify for me their characteristics because chemists, when they make the plastics, can give them certain characteristics depending on how they put them together. So that's flexible and transparent. Yeah. Okay, how about this one? Well, it's light, mm -hmm. inexpensive, and it's strong enough to last. Why do you say inexpensive? Well, you can buy a whole package of them at right. the store just for a couple of Well, the of point bucks. is that you're going to throw it away, right? You don't yeah. want to clean it. Okay. How about this one? Well, it's slippery. Right. And, and it's, it's occupied. Yeah, it, it, you, it, you can't see through it, so obviously yeah. if you want to hear it. This one? This one has to be strong because mm -hmm. pressure will be put onto it. Yeah. It's a gear, right? Yeah. yeah. And that one? And this has to be, this has to allow water to pass through it without right. dissolving. Right. And all kinds of liquids yeah, that go through it. Yeah, it has to be strong. It. And it has to be strong too, right? Okay. So those are some of the ideas, at least, uh, so that you get the idea that the plastics that we use in our everyday life have all kinds of characteristics. So they can't be really used to identify them. Scientists, when they want to identify a plastic, use the idea of their density. And see here, I have a chart. Low density, teflon. teflon, right? Medium density, nylon. Right. High density, PVC. PVC, polyvinyl chloride. And here are samples of those three uh, three uh, plastics right here. So you have to identify which is which. And how are you going to do it? By the density of the water. Yeah, by the density of the liquid. It's not water. Okay. So I will put sample of each one into that tall test tube over there. What would you say the density of that liquid is? Very low. Yeah, because everything is sinking in it. How about this one? I would say high. High density, right. So this one is now sort of in the middle. And that's the one you're going to use to identify these plastics. First, I'll take this white one and put it in. It's just staying at the top. Yeah, so? It's low density, and Teflon. It's Teflon, right. Now I'll take this darker piece. Sunk to the bottom, so it must be high des density. And yeah. it's PVC. PVC. So what's left? The nylon. And it's? Medium density. So it ought to give some place between the two, right? Yes. There you go. So you, now you've identified plastics in the same way chemists uh, would do it, by their density. Congratulations. You've identified each one.